Hello, people. Welcome to the United Way. David De Gea leaves Manchester United after an, a, uh, I would say, fantastic, a fantastic, unbelievable uh, 12 years with Manchester United. I think De Gea has won everything as a goalkeeper for Manchester United except the Champions League. But yeah, but he has won an international cup, cup which is the European Cup, uh, uh, the Euro European League Cup, which is also something uh, he will be proud of. But yes, guys, I want to tell you guys that this uh, uh, video is actually dedicated on the positive side of David, David De Gea because uh, in the grand scheme of things, David, David De Gea has represented something which is uh, very professional in terms of Manchester United. Most of you understand, uh, most of you watchers, I don't know how, how long you've been watching United. I've been 30 years, but David De Gea, what he has given to the club is something we have to get, make a video just about it. But before we continue, we are united, man united, not man divided. So I want to talk about one of our previous goalkeeper, Edwin uh, Van der Sar, who is now in a critical situation. He's, I, I mean, uh, health-wise, he has a brain um, uh, issue uh, with the brain, and he's. Uh, we've had some from some uh, statement from Ajax that he's in an intense care. Hopefully, he gets well. For most of you who are young, you didn't know Van der Sar. You didn't watch him play. He was just fantastic, uh, you know. He was like the main person in terms of like the last defender. I think Van de Sados were one of the, the the goalkeepers who started uh, uh, changing the way goalkeeping is. Very good in his legs. He was the the guy who helped us to uh, bring some Ajax players to Manchester United last year. So uh, as a United community, uh, prayers are with the family and those of concern. This is a fan channel. We we are Man United. We need to talk about uh, ex players. So with that said, let's get to David De Gea. David De Gea has just announced that he is uh, leaving Manchester United for reasons which are really understandable. David De Gea, after playing for 12 years in a team, you cannot allow yourself to be a reserve goalkeeper or on the bench for a new young goalkeeper. You know, uh, David De Gea is at the age which he has to be looking for is uh, somehow retirement, you know, playing in a team, gaining... Um, um, experience. I mean, I watched an interview with an ex-goalkeeper who said, "With goalkeeping, it's a bit different. Goalkeepers, when you are a first goalkeeper in the team, you you want to you want to know that you are a first goalkeeper. It's psychological, you know. With goalkeepers, you don't have a lot of actions, but the few actions that you have can determine the game. So that's why it's very important to know to to identify. This is the first goalkeeper. This is the second goalkeeper." And uh, the both sides have to get it right. right. They have to know where they belong in the team. It's not like in the midfield where you can you can take somebody's position, right? You can, you can perform well and, and, and kick out an attacker. You can score goals. So you, you see where I'm coming from. But yeah, let's go back to David De Gea. David De Gea has had 545 games for Manchester United. Has won one Premier League. Wow. Which means we have done so bad the last... Uh, uh, the last... Uh, decades since uh, the gear the gear came here well, since Alex Ferguson left he has won one uh, uh, FA Cup won uh, two uh, uh, League Cup one European Cup community shield he has won three of them yeah he has conceded 590 goals uh, clean sheet 190 and that year he owns the record of screen sheets uh, is beating Schmeichel's record for those of you who like love records here yeah, yeah. League errors leading to a goal 17, yeah. So, uh, talking about that statistic, let's go back to what David De Gea has uh, said in terms of uh, what he thinks about living. He said, okay, I would like to express my own uh, on, um, waving gratitude and appreciation for the law from the last 12 years. We achieved a lot since my uh, dear I say Alex Ferguson brought me in this club. I took incredible pride every time I pulled on the shirt. So some of you, these critics, you guys who understand, he said he loved the club. And I will, I will tell you guys why. Yeah, the, the, the biggest club in the world, yes, uh, was an honor uh, only uh, between upon a few lucky footballers. Now it's time, yeah, now it is the right time to uh, undertake a new challenge to push myself. So um, he is doing like what most players, which, are, which some class are doing, talking about his experience with Manchester United. I think it's very easy what he, what he said. 
The, but this shows that David De Gea also has uh, has a Manchester United DNA in him. Most of these players, I mean, we've been having such as this such information or such way of departure. With most of these players, um, we had something similar with um, uh, a player uh, with uh, Mata who came to Manchester United from Chelsea and still loves the club. And uh, yeah, so I mean. One of the good things with, Manch with the Spanish players is their professionalism. When they go to these top clubs, the way they leave it, they leave it with class. I have not heard any scandal with a Spanish player leaving, um, leaving um, especially let's talk about Manchester United. Um, uh, I think David De Gea um, has uh, done what he could do. I think he came into Manchester United as a young kid, as he said. We remember, I don't know how long you watching this video, you've been watching United, but I can remember his first game. I remember his first fourth. See Alex Ferguson still back David De Gea, but also their period where when Alex Ferguson left Manchester United, Manchester had issues. We had issues not only with the managers we bring. The biggest problem in Manchester United had be, always been that we never had a plan. So it, it, it must have been very frustrating for someone David De Gea who came into a club that was a winning team, and uh, it became a club who were fighting for top four. So I think David De Gea. Oh, uh, leaving is the end of uh, an end of an era. I think uh, it's already it's over. I think uh, well, what I think doesn't really matter. But I know this is I shouldn't be saying. I think I know this is the end of an era, and I I know that uh, um, players would would pride needs to needs to kick in. You know, this has exposed a lot of people. David de Gea could sit in Manchester United for 150k a week. 180k 100 and whatever k a week he could have discussed even for the 200k a week and sit and fight for his place in manchester united but he understands that he doesn't need to do it he can he can do it he can he can still play uh, in another team and be more relevant you know unlike players like harry maguire which i'm just bringing this occasion in this uh, in this uh, situation because of what we have just read so i don't think um, it's, uh, I don't think personally that um, David De Gea um, was a negative influence be uh, uh, because of, of, of his performance lately. We know football for the past three, four years has quite changed. Football has been it's now more about goalkeepers trying to play more in a defensive role. Um, taking part in the game and that's what we think uh, as fans that Andre Nana will bring to Manchester United. Even though I am worried about Andre Nana. I'm a Cameroonian. I love the guy. I'm worried about the way he plays. He would need to adapt the Premier League. Yeah, uh, I will do a video clearly about Andre Onana and make, tell you guys exactly why I think Andre Onana will have a tough start for Manchester United. The first year, first two years of Andre Onana, first two years is very important. Not it's important for all, all goalkeepers, but especially Andre Onana when Bates was coming. Um, a little bit out of topic here. When Bates was coming to Manchester United, it was something similar. And being a French goalkeeper, the, the press jumped on Bates. You know, you you guys will understand. Sometimes the political conflict between the UK and the Brit and France, it also has a place, a place uh, in, in their social, you know, uh, sphere. Let's don't pretend that they, we don't have these issues. So the um, also, I was very uh, worried about this goalkeeper Andro Nana for different reasons. I think we'll do another video, but let's talk about David De Gea here. So David De Gea, I think personally, David De Gea's competition. Well, we, we, I have spoken to, if you're a watcher of this, of this channel, I always call the TikTok fans. You know what TikTok fans are? One second, and you just read here. Uh, these fans who, they are Manchester United fans. I hate the idea of being a better fan. I'm not a better fan than you are, but what I am is I've seen more stages of United for almost three, more than three decades. Uh, uh, so I can uh, at least uh, I stand in a position to analyze players, which may maybe most of you didn't watch them. But, um, so um, yeah, I think uh, most of the young players today they they love all this you know fancy game. I um, mean, Spain I've seen a lot of players wearing T-shirts of Cristiano Ronaldo in, in Saudi Arabia a lot here in Spain at the moment. But uh, but you know uh, um, I think uh, football has changed. And uh, clubs are trying to adapt in the in the, uh, the modern way in which people uh, fans react in football. So um, and that 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 might also play a role, David De Gea, because as a short stopper, he is one of the best, if not the best. David De Gea has saved Manchester United in more than one hundred games. If you want Manchester United, you will agree with me that. But the problem is the way United wants to play. 
by trying to control games. They will need a goalkeeper which is proactive. And I think, um, I think uh, on one hand, Andro Nana will be part of that goalkeeper. But on the other hand, when he starts l losing balls, l getting stupid goals, because the Premier League is not the, the Dutch League, the Premier League is not the Italian League, it's way faster, he will learn that very quickly. Then the British journalists will jump on Andrea Nana, psychological press on him. If they, I mean, I want to, I need to talk to some of the Cameroon, Cameroonians, which I know in the national team, to talk with this Andrea Nana because he will have a lot of problem as a non-British player playing in the biggest club in the world and having that that uh, opportunity of exposure. So uh, he will need, need to be very high on his concentration. But anyway, yes, uh, we, we started a video, David De Gea went somewhere else because of our passion for the game. Tell us what you think, guys, below. What do you think about David De Gea's uh, departure? Are you sad about it? Do you think it was the right thing to do? Do you think it's okay? It's okay for David De Gea to, to stay and be a second goalkeeper of the 150K when we have problem with money in Manchester United? David Gea will be, if you want to know a little bit of dreams about his future, David Gea will go to Saudi Arabia. He'll be earning like 250 so Exactly what he'll earn in Manchester United. He might be there for two years and that's it. And uh, maybe he might retire sometime. I think he has had a fantastic career. Very few goalkeepers have had this. This is a guy who has won the Golden Gloves, I think, if I'm not mistaken, maybe six times or four times, four or six times, if I'm not mistaken. But um, he was the best goalkeeper of the league last season and United has let him go. Anyway, guys, thanks again for this video. Thanks. Please make sure you smash a like on the video and please subscribe to the channel. Guys, share the video. If you like the video, share the video. If you like the video, like the like. If you hate the video, like the video. Because that's what how it works here in uh, YouTube. Anyway, great talking to you. I'll do a video about Andro Nana. I wanted to do his pluses and minuses, right? Strengths and weakness. But we know, I am very confident that actually the Daily Mail has just come out and said Manchester uh, United will be closing on on the deal on, uh, with Andro Nana sometime next week. So uh, I think I will, tell, I will, talk, I will do, talk about Nana so maybe tomorrow already. We might have an old Nana deal. Here we go in the evening from Sabizo Romano. We might have that from all the David, uh, David Ornstein or, or Laurie Lewitt. Well, anyway, guys, take care. And uh, yeah, have a lovely Sunday. Going to the beach today as usual. I'll be here for a month and maybe a month in Portugal. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.